Just Couture Insurance Agency uh, was born almost four years ago when my husband Joe opened the doors to farmers. Joe and I come from different backgrounds of uh, insurance, over 25 years in the business, and we decided to open something where the two of us could control what we do and not working for somebody else. And we decided to do it here because we live here and our kids go to school here. We feel comfortable in the, in the area and we figured this was a good, good place for us. Work with Joe, it, it's, it's, it's very good, I gotta say. He's not bossy, I should say. <laughs> he is very patient. We have a unique relationship. I find myself lucky that I have uh, a husband that I can trust and I can count on not only for working with, but to live with. Uh, we have two beautiful kids, uh, John and Angelo. John is 15 and Angelo is 13 almost. They're very involved with the Scouts, the, uh, the Youth Council who help out in the community. So I'm always busy with them. I'm originally from Venezuela. I um, came here 20 years ago after I finished college. I wanted to come learn English and I never went back. <laughs> I'm from a family of five. Uh, my mom and my dad are still in Venezuela. Uh, I have a sister, my little sister who is here, and my oldest brother who is in uh, Saudi Arabia. He works for, for an oil company there. I do a lot of community work with the, the Boy Scout. I am part of the North Brunswick Women's Club too. And now the Girl Scout come and we help them with the uh, cookie sales. They set the tables here and I volunteer to coach girls on the run at the, the Judd Elementary School. Anything that people ask, I try to, to help out. I like to run. Um, I love running. I started running when the kids were little, about three years old. And I started running with a club in Princeton, it's called Racy Woman. Um, after running a couple of years, I got into half marathon. Then I started doing triathlons. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. Uh, to me, it, it clears my head. It's very relaxing to me. I also like to bake. I do custom cakes. I love doing that. It, it also calms me down. It relaxes me sitting and, and working with my hands. Ever since we opened our doors, we joined the Middlesex County Chamber of Commerce. It was one of the first things that we said, well, let's, tr let's do this. And it was a wonderful source of meeting other people, other business owners. I have created friendships. We help each other out. It's, it's a wonderful feeling just to, to go somewhere and everybody recognize you, not just because what you do, but for who you are. The Sensory Path is a, is a program that helps kids with disabilities or um, autism or um, attention deficit disorders, or just the regular kids that have a little bit of anxiety. And everything started uh, one Sunday when I was training for uh, the Disney half marathon with one of the Judd Elementary School kindergarten teacher. And I was saying to her, I would like to do something for the school because uh, Farmers loves to help teachers. And we got the, um, the grant, the, we got them over $2,500 to, to do all the hallways in the school. What they do is there are stickers that they put in their hallways. So every, every grade has a hallway. Every hallway has a theme. There will be a line and it says start or begin here. It will give the kids the directions what they need to do. It says jump. Um, there's stuff sometimes on the wall, it says jump to touch, uh, press here. They use their hands, they use their feet, and that helps release some of that jitters. It helps them um, calm down if they're having a rough day, if they can't focus in, in the classroom. Teachers can take them out, 
take um, five, 10 minutes with them in the hallway, um, play with them, and then they can come back inside and focus on what they, they're supposed to be doing, learning. All the farmers, employees came from um, main office and the marketing and the, the district managers, everybody came and it was wonderful to put all the hallways down and all the, uh, the stickers for the kids. One of uh, my, my friend, friend, she say when the kids went back uh, after the Thanksgiving break, there was like Christmas morning. They were so happy with it. So I'm very happy that I was able to, to be part of that project and started it.